There was a flood of new trainers wanting to become uh, online coaches. But I don't. I, I think a lot of them don't know what it what it's like, what it takes. What does that transition look like? Let's yeah, say or where get, to start? Yeah, let's say there's a train listening right now, and they're like, "Man, I worked. You know, I was a trainer at 24 Hour Fitness or at Gold's Gym or whatever. They're still closed. Uh, it's hard for me to build my business. I want to do online coach. I have no idea where to start. What does that look like? I think every every coach that's considering going online right now, or, or even if we've experienced a lot of people that are in other industries considering becoming an online coach, you know, fighting against the pandemic, whatever it might be. Um, they feel like there's two options they have, which is, do I go learn all of the knowledge? Do I learn all of the application? Which is great. We all know a lot of really good coaches out there. Or do I learn the business side of it? Do I learn client acquisition? Do I learn systems, scale, et cetera? And, and the truth is like, they're both very expensive to invest in traditionally. And I think that the answer is you actually need both. Um, you know, honestly, that's that's why we as a company made the pivot that, that we did is we were like, we're not just going to sell them independent. We're actually going to bring them together. And I think you have to be ready to do both. But, you know, one of the things I think we've done exceptionally well inside of our certification. And if you're seeking certification, if you're trying to go online and become a coach, make sure that you're learning the application side of it and that you're you're able to coach clients because social proof above everything else will win. Right. And so like when we have a when we have a client come in and they get certified with us, they don't answer a bunch of multiple choice questions. They actually have to operate with guinea pigs. And, you know, Frankie, who's in the room with us right now, right? Like he's a salesperson for us. And he tells people online, he's like, dude, NCI only makes you get two guinea pigs, get 10 guinea pigs and like let them be your walking billboards. Let them go rave about your services. So when you're ready to build a business around this, you've already serviced 10 people. You've got 10 before and afters that you can showcase. Now you have a justification for charging. 200 a month, 300 a month, 500 a month. And by the way, you're learning on the job. You're not saying like, oh, well, I know what, you know, protein metabolism looks like, so I should be able to help you lose fat. Like mm. that doesn't work out so well. Mm. Okay. So start by getting some clients, uh, mm. charging them a little, but make but doing a damn good job so they can become your, your I think billboard. I think that's first. If, if you don't understand that, everything else, I mean, we could sit here and talk for the next five hours about business. If you can't do that, if you can't create results, start over. Like, it, it, why are you taking somebody's money for a service you can't provide? And I, and I think that's the biggest dickhead move that a lot of coaches are doing is I've talked to a lot of coaches and, and I asked openly on a webinar recently, I said, if any client walks through the door, are you 100% confident that you can service them? And I, I'm talking any issue, 95% people said no. And I'm like, then why are you not becoming a slightly better coach? Mm. Like that's, that's a problem, right? And I, I get it. There's a lot of people focusing on business. And by the way, this was on a, a business building webinar where I was, I was selling business building services. And I'm like, this is a problem. If you can't do that, go back and show the world that you can, right? There's a, there's a business that I coach and, and he's actually, he's not the best marketer in the world. He's really fucking good at getting results. Mm. And he shows testimonial after testimonial after testimonial. And that's his big marketing approach. The kid gets like 15 new clients a week. Yeah. People are like, how does he wow. do it? I'm like, cause he's really good at what he does. Right. Right. So mm -hmm. I, I think when we're talking about business dev, you know, biz dev, if we're not talking about cold DMS, we're not talking about, um, you know, traditional lead gen strategies. We're talking about number one above everything else, create fucking results. I'll, I'll take it even a step further. And I know this is crazy to the generation now to say shit like this, but I would it, encourage these trainers to train these people for free. Amen. Like, you know, I, and that just sounds like, oh my God, I, how am I supposed to do? Because I know that you have them listening right now and they're like, well, okay, you're saying go practice on 10 clients. Well, how do I get to clients? I've never yeah. been a personal trainer before. How am I going to sell these people? Like we used to you do this all the time. Family. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. don't sell them. Go. I mean, okay. I told, I was helping a trainer. I was mentoring a trainer the other day. It was just was like two weeks ago. And I, and I said this and he was just like for free. And I'm like, well, yeah, dude, you have no fucking experience. Yeah. Go yeah. get your experience. You believe you have, you, you've listened to every mind pump episode. You've got multiple certifications. You've got, you have a degree, you have experience enough to have, you're going to be smarter than most of these clients. Now get out there and practice your knowledge. See if you can apply it and see if you can get these people's results. And you shouldn't be charging money if you can't prove to yourself first that you can do that. And don't be afraid to go work for free. Well, I'll take that a step further is you said this person asked you, how do I get people for free? Right. right. How do I get 10 people? And Justin, you said, you know, friends and family letting somebody letting you work with them is a function of what trust, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's a function mm -hmm. of trust. If there are not 10 people in this world that you've added enough value to, 
<laughs> that trust you enough to help them in something like losing weight, which we all know people want to fucking do. Right. What have you been doing with your life? Right. And the, the truth is, and, and I mean this wholeheartedly, like we can all laugh about it, but if you haven't done that, where you start is go start adding value to people. Such a good point. Ask them what they need from you and give them a, a function of value. Like right. help them in their life. Like if they want business advice, help them. Like, but most people want health advice. And dude, try this and let me know how it works and call me in three days. Right. right? And they're like, wait, this person actually cares. Okay, do that. If you can't like, and, and I think that's a great place to start is you should be able to get eight to 10 people that you can help for free. You should create badass testimonials and that should be the function. But from there, like that's where we can really get into biz dev shit. And that's where I've hacked this. And honestly, I've spent like the last year inside of that dude. Like I'll confidently say, I think the system we've built is, is changing online like forever. Like we've got coaches that in their first month of us have done upwards of 50 K have done like, you know, I mean, we've made three millionaires in like the last year. Like it, it's been awesome. And nice. that's been a lot of fun. That's wow. Funny. That's yeah. That's, that, that, that's the, exciting. The free thing is funny to me because when I was a trainer, that's what you did. You gave, you gave free <laughs> yeah, sessions in order to <laughs> nah, bro. Now run a Facebook ad and get four for one ninety nine. Like, come on. Yeah. I mean, but it's because, I mean, what are you, what are you giving away for free? What you're yeah. doing is you're asking them, you're, you're saying, I'm going to help you for free in exchange for the experience. I'm going to learn from you. Well, well it always, in sales always comes down to two things value and price amen and if you cannot convince somebody to work with you for free you're sure as shit gonna have a hard time trying to convince people <laughs> to give you two hundred dollars right. you well, know dude, what I'm saying? That, so at least hit that out the park first first get all, to a place where you can add enough value that people are like oh my god you're gonna give this to me for free hell mm -hmm. yes if you can't convince 10 people to do that mm -hmm. you need to start there we also see that at scale i i see so many of the quote-unquote gurus that are like well just run facebook ads and i'm like wait a minute your offer isn't converting to the people that know you that know you like you and trust you, right? Your offer isn't converting. So here's an idea. Let's send it to 10 billion people that don't know you like you and trust you and expect a different conversion. Yeah. Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> Zero chance that is going to work, right? right? But also to your point of helping people for free, how many of those people, Sal, like when you did it, Adam, when you guys did it in the gym, how many of those people turned into paying clients oh, at, at the end? Not only do they turn into Every paying clients, all people. of them. They mm -hmm. become one of the most powerful advertising tools yes. that you have. Yeah, yeah. Because you, if you do a good job, right, uh, you those you end up changing those people's lives. They're far more likely to go out and tell five, six, seven other They're people. They're your evangelists. Yes. By the way, this, this all speaks to like one simple thing that I believe to be true. That lead generation is a function of value. It is not a function of anything else. And so like in our space, you know, we hear in the digital space, we'll just put out your freebie. There's a rule in my system. If you use the word freebie, I will kick you in the dick and kick you out. <laughs> like not allowed in our system, because if you're putting out quote unquote freebies, you don't believe there's value. So why the fuck should your prospective client think that there's value? And so we call it, we call it value exchange content. We are going to give you value, like very valuable content in exchange for like your information, right? Your email, your, your name, your phone number, like all those things. Right. But again, it's, it's lead generation at its core. I mean, we all understand like what a lead is. Somebody seeing you and, and knowing who you are, that's not a lead, right? That's just awareness. Right. But real lead generation where you capture somebody's information comes down to a function of value. There should be a, you know, if you thought about it, like all the coaches listening, if you think that your, somebody's email address is worth $5,000, what are you going to put out there that they're willing to invest $5,000 into you with? Is it your free fucking, you know, two day cleanse that's worth five grand? Like, no, that's a terrible piece of content. So there's yeah. no value. So you now have no leads. That's why you suck. That's why your business is failing. And so instead start thinking about it in terms of value exchange content to generate those leads. I think that's, that has to be understood. You know, what's funny about this too, is that there, there may be some people listening who are thinking about online coaches and they're like, oh man, that's going to take a while. You know, that's going to be a lot of work. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Building it. You know, when we started Mind Pump, we did the podcast for a year for free. We yeah. did nothing. We sold nothing. We pitched nothing. It was all about can we produce enough value for people to the point where they're going to ask us, hey, can we buy something from you because you guys are giving us so much value. And then at that point, we know this is a business. Otherwise, it was just a labor of love and we were all totally fine doing it. We used to meet you know, once or twice a week 
after work, seven o'clock, eight o'clock at night, we'd podcast for two or three hours. And we did it because we loved what we did. But it took a year before we started to realize that, okay, this me, if it looks like we can actually turn this into a business, that's kind of cool. So if you want to be a coach and you're listening, you're like, oh, that's a lot of hard work. Maybe you don't really want to be a coach. Right. Maybe well, it's not it's, for you. It's the same theory. If we can't convince people to listen to our information for free, how the <laughs> shit are we going to sell them something? You know what I'm saying? Right, that's right. even less connected right. to us. So, so I, even, Go ahead. Oh, well, even there, like I'll, I'll shout out like one of my clients, like shout out my boy, Tyler Newton, right? And he, this guy had hired another coach and gotten in a really bad situation. First of all, don't ever be that coach that's like trying to take money when someone else is like working there. I like, I showed up as like support and I was just like, listen, like if you want to run the advice by me, I'm happy. And like, he ended up just asking me for like a lot of advice. And, and ultimately over time, he's like, dude, I have to pay you. Like I, I have to like join one of your programs. Again, function of, I gave value and value and value. And like, he finally came, you know, through one of our funnels and was like, dude, okay, it's finally time I'm going to pay you. But I was already doing millions of dollars at that point. I didn't have to do that for free. I did it because again, every day, this is the core foundational strategy that we use as a company is, you know, we're, we run Facebook ads. We have all of these things, of course, but like at the end of the day, our core strategy is we're going to outgive value more than any other entity mm -hmm. in this world. And we, we look at our competitors. We're like, well, you're not putting out very valuable stuff. We're going, you know, we're connecting to people live every day. We're letting you in trainings for free. Dude, our next live event, if you pay for a ticket to it, I'm personally paying for your hotel room and your meals. Wow. Like we are always trying to hack value creation. And I think that's why we've seen a rapid acceleration and the coaches that work with us have also seen the same.